Hey guys, here at Prehistoric Pets, one of our favorite things we produce here, sulfur water monitors. No way, I like retics. Well, <laughs> this is my thing, I love retics too, but these guys are dog tame, captive board babies. Here's the parents, the moms are back here. I mean, you could even see the moms are tame too from the start. They're all tame. Got beautiful markings, you can't really can't really see it because the shed. But they are my second favorite thing. <laughs> can't really see it. It's in shed, but this is pretty cool because this guy's actually up for sale. It's a male. He's about two and a half feet long. So if you guys are interested, you know, you can give me a shoot me an email or a call or a text. But you can obviously see how tame they are, which is pretty cool. So get this guy. Why we only have I think one or two left. I think that's how many we have, right, Tim? Something like that. What's Mama girls? doing there? I don't know what Mama's doing, but she's pretty tame too. I don't have food, girls. I don't have food, sorry. But uh, yeah, guys, check this out and uh, let me know if anybody out there wants a new monitor as a pet. Not only is it a sulfur, but it's a captive bred one. Just like the captive bred waters are way worth more money than than people think they are because when you end up with a big dog tame lizard like the, like this one's cousin, Mr. Kipling on the Disney Channel, you'll realize how valuable they are. They're pretty cool. They're just teddy bears. They just you know, they're not like they're more like a dog. They're more like a dog. Of course, you know, they're so dangerous <laughs> that they need permits in some states, but <clears throat> cities. But anyway, they're pretty cool. I'll let you play with your toy. All right, guys. Check this video out too, but take care and give me a shout if you want a new monitor.